Now, the state's music industry added 2,000 permanent jobs last year. It contributed more than $9.6 billion in economic activity. These numbers are from a Texas music economic impact study. And when it comes to capitalizing on the South Plains, one industry leader says we ought to do more. Our Megan Reyna explains what it'll take to make Lubbock a greater entertainment destination. Picking up the guitar, playing a song, and performing to an audience is second nature to Bo Garza and Junior Vasquez. Lubbock, it's, you know, it's, it, they call it the hub of the plains, but I also believe it's the hub of, of Texas music to, to a major degree. People love music here. Both artists make a living off music, performing all over town to all kinds of venues. Garza moved to Lubbock in 97. When I got here, I looked around and I said, oh my God, where have we uh, come to? Because it was just, it seemed so barren to me. He says he was wrong. Garza quickly discovered something that set Lubbock apart from cities like Austin or Nashville, where he moved from. People willing to pay for live music. Garza realized music can be his career. It was either going to be, you know, working a, a real job or working uh, what I consider to be a real job, which is entertainment. And I chose entertainment, and I haven't looked back. It's been beautiful. Vasquez spent his entire life in the Hub City. Pretty much full time the last probably eight to ten years of it. He says it's easier working as a solo artist to make ends meet. With what seems like an endless amount of gigs, Vasquez has made a name for himself. At any given time, on a Friday or Saturday, you can go find live music in Lubbock there's probably anywhere from 25 to 30 venues. Despite all these performance opportunities, producer, promoter, and musician Don Caldwell believes there's room to grow. He thinks venues like the Buddy Holly Hall will set us apart. The name Buddy Holly alone is gonna make people that are in the entertainment industry that were influenced by him want to come to Lubbock and do their thing. When it comes to creating legends like Buddy Holly, Caldwell believes we're lacking one thing, publishing. He says while Lubbock is a great incubator for young artists, it's unlikely they'll make it big unless they move. Lots of songwriters in Lubbock. Um, there's recording studios. We have the, the making of something that could be really huge if someone really focused on investment in the music publishing industry. But in the meantime, Caldwell is optimistic about the future of music in the Hub City. As long as Lubbock is just kind of putting the foot forward, to move forward in developing talent, then the sky's the limit. The governor's office reports it's crucial to continue investing in a diverse, lively music scene. The impact study indicates that's a crucial element of the Texas brand that draws visitors from around the world. Megan Reyna, Box 34 News at 9.